So, my name is Mojdu, what's your name? My name is uh, Ayomide Yusuf. Mr. Ayomide, are you in a relationship? Yes, yes, I'm in a relationship. The question is, can you leave your partner to study abroad? Oh, no, I can't leave my partner to study abroad. What are your reasons? My reason is that um, my partner is, is love of my life because if I leave her and I stay in abroad day, you know, I'm I'm not gonna I'm gonna list, I'm gonna miss her a lot because there are a lot of things that she's doing to me that a lot of lady days in abroad can do. So and you know the Nigeria economy now everything is hard. So I can't satisfy her enough. No, I will have a lot of money there to send to her, but I can't satisfy her enough. So we have to go together so I can't leave her. So what are the things do you think she's doing? Why other ladies can't do to you? Um, my, my own partner is no. The, uh, women's, women, um, ladies are not different. But no. let me say, our own is different in a different dimension because she's good to me. She's she take care of me a lot. She take care of me a lot. She help me in different way that I even think that ah can this be possible? So. So what's the advice to people, you know, looking forward to like travel abroad and leave their partner behind? Um, my piece of advice to them is that women, ladies, let me say women or ladies are very essential in life because without them we can't live. Without them we can't live. For me being like this is, is a woman that born me. So let's try to take care of them because going abroad there and leaving your woman there, that's why we see them. You say we have a single mother doing all kind of prostitution because there's no how when you leave them here they want to have sex and they'll start doing anything but when you are with them together both of you are in abroad together you know you won't have any means of saying you want to do any kind of things so my piece of advice is then that wherever you are going to abroad you have to take your partner together you should go together and have fun and make everything together in life wow i love you bro chop knuckle Mama, what's up? My name is Mojdu. What's your name? My name is Ogume Oluwabumi. Wow, how are you doing today? I'm fine. Are you in a relationship? Yes. Wow, that's cool. The question is, can you leave your partner to study abroad? That's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> that's impossible. Like, we have different, different reactions, so I don't know. Like, it's impossible. Like, my own partner, because... Uh, what are your reasons? Like guys now, <laughs> guys are very desperate. <laughs> if, like me studying abroad, maybe after my my education and then come back to Nigeria or something. All is about coming. So, what would be your advice to those you know looking forward to travel abroad and you know leave their partner behind? Um, it depends on how the relationship goes. Like it depends on how. Um, the lady and the guy, how the relationship is closed and like that. But if they don't have close relationship like that before going to abroad, ah, something might happen. But you can't do it. But we can do it. Thank you. Much do what's your name? I didn't care. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Wow, that's cool. Are you in a relationship? Oh yeah. Wow. The question is, can you leave your partner to study abroad? Can I leave my partner to study abroad? Behind, yeah. Okay, can I leave him behind to behind study abroad? To um, well, it depends. I can actually go first and later on he will come join me. So, we can talk about it. To how extent do you trust him? 17%. Why not 100? <laughs> Adam. <laughs> I don't understand. Adam, how do you... Trust Adam, 100%. Hey, <laughs> I better go. I can't, sorry. So how will you advise those who are looking forward to like study abroad, you know, and leave their partner behind? Well, I guess communication is the key. So they should communicate with their partner and it depends on them and their partner. So I can't really advise them on what to do. Chop knuckle. Chop knuckle, chop knuckle. My name is Mojdu, what's your name? Kuye Kalsar. Wow. How are you doing today? I'm good, great. Are you in a relationship? Yeah. The question is, can you leave your partner 
to study abroad? Yes, because if there is trust, there is anything can walk around you guys. So the main thing is you just gain more um, knowledge outside and come back if there is trust between seeing you guys. So how will you advise those who you know people who are looking forward to you know travel abroad, you know, and they have doubts in mind? Well, it depends on your maturity levels. When you when you know have um, listen, a well stated um, stated mind that you want to do something, we just advise those who are willing to go abroad to study to just maybe let their partner, which is still staying in Nigeria, know what they want to him so they can be prepared for them, like just wait, be patient for them to come back and just... Chop Noko. What's up? My name is Mojdu. What's your name? Ademola Matthew is my name. Mr. Matthew, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm oh, you look good. Thank you very much. Are you in a relationship? Yeah, I'm in a relationship. The question is, if you are to travel abroad to study, can you leave your partner behind to study abroad? Um, it depends. What are your reasons? Okay, I can leave my partner behind to study abroad in the issue of which I know I'm going to come back to come and cater for them and things is going to be all right. It's for our own good, so I can do such. But in another aspect, if it's that we are married and she's not, she has not given birth, you know, she will be lonely or this kind of thing, living a lonely life. And it depends on the what I'm going to go and do over there to go and study and how am I going to spend much time? You get. So the aspect is for we being together, give our relationship more love and care so i would like to take her and that in that aspect you get when we are married and she has not given birth so she'll be feeling lonely she'll feel dictated like nobody around her to show her love so i have to take her around that, that aspect but if it's in the aspect of okay we are just we are still like fiance i can still go and do my studies and get back into nigeria and marry her and get but so that's what I have to say. So what's your advice for those who are looking forward to like travel abroad? And um, for those who are looking forward to travel abroad, what I would just say is they should have a fixed mindset because not be everybody for for guys. Not be everybody if you do have. Because some guys they are like when you go to when you go abroad, see another kind of face and stand another kind of lifestyle. They forget home. They forget their their spouse. Their, uh, their wife, anything. So you just have to show that faithfulness. Always have a fixed mind. Let your wife trust you. Let your wife always have that full hope that you will come back for her. Or better still, you will come and take her. Chop knuckle, bro. Thank you, bro.